Oh, is it just me or is it like lopsided? <laughs> we are not doing an annoying video. Uh, this video will still be annoying, but it's not an annoying fit. You know what I'm this saying. This is just gonna be garbage. Yes. <laughs> Get your knee off of my knee. <laughs> Stop! Oh my god. Today we will be talking about promposals. And this guy has a juicy. Why did I rub your arm like that? Oh, that was weird. Get your life. <laughs> so this guy right here has a pretty juicy uh, proposal story. My first one. This is how it went down. Hardly knew the girl. Just went on like a date of. Uh, we went on a group date, so I was probably nervous and about to like crap my pants the entire time. And we decided. I decided that we were gonna go play tennis, and she actually took me up on that on her birthday to go play tennis. Have you ever? Okay, you never played tennis, but like the handle of the racket, if you like put it between your legs, it looks like a penis, and that did happen. Okay, so we played tennis and I made it this deal that the loser had to do something really embarrassing. And so uh, I purposely lost, but I told her that I didn't purposely lose. I went and I already had this whole thing planned out. This was completely planned. It was another one of those like stud uh, where I thought I was a stud and so smooth and I wasn't. And so then I, I went to my, the back of my car. So like you have like that spare tire and then like in there. So I hid the poster like under the spare tire. So I literally had to go to my car open up this hatch, open up another hatch, open up, take off the spare tire or something like that and then pull out the poster. And so like I doing that and I thought she was still on the court. No, she followed me back up there and she's just watching me like struggle in the back of my car. She probably thought there was a dead body or something. And I pull out the poster and this is what she says. So I pull it out, I show it to her and she's like, wait, 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 what did the poster say? It says out of all the JV in the league, will you pick me? Nope. Delete the channel. I, I present the poster to her and all she says, she didn't say anything. Then finally, after like 20 seconds, she's like, aw, that's cute. And I was like, oh my gosh, I, I'm getting turned down. And I still had to take her home right after that. But no, then uh, I had to ask her afterwards and I was like, uh, so is that a yes? And then she says, yeah, and then she freaks out. and. The car ride was awkward, but it was like so chill after too. And that was my prom story, my prom first prom proposal. Oh, ah! oh shoot, are you okay? No! I'm dying. Did you draw blood? I'm bleeding to death. No, you're not. I don't even see anything. You're just pinching your skin. So here's a little mini story by myself. So what happened was it was Halloween and I was dressed as Spider-Man. There was this kid that was kind of bullied me. He was kind of a jerk. Uh, but what he was kind of known as in my middle school was the fact that he was a Nazi sympathizer. Everybody called him a neo-Nazi. None of us knew what that meant, yeah. but everybody called him it. Yeah. But yeah, essentially what it was, he was kind of like a Nazi sympathizer. On this Halloween day, he was making fun of my Spider-Man outfit, and I didn't like that very much. So, naturally, as the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, I thought that the best way to solve my problem was to punch him in the face. And that is what I did and basically we started fighting. Um, I got some good jabs at his face. Um, he, he got my shin pretty well though. He broke my glasses, which kind of sucked, so I had to get new ones, and we both got in-school suspension. When I was in in-school suspension, people around the school started talking about it, and rumors started going around like, oh my gosh, Kaysen. Okay, I, I just gonna, I gotta get some background on this. Okay. First off, Cameron's probably about a foot taller than you. Yeah. He w this guy was known as like the, the goody-goody who couldn't ever do wrong. Like that's what everybody knew him as. That was probably like one of two fights that I've been in my entire life. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to more uploads in the future. Very, very distant future. Very distant future. Dun 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 dun